Uh, today I'm going to be going over deploying a front-running bot on uh, PancakeSwap uh, with the wrapped BNB pair. If you're following me from my last video, I got taken down due to copyright notice. Uh, due to some audio I had in my file, lessons learned, we're starting anew. Uh, so, uh, if you just follow the description of the video as far as downloading MetaMask and also funding it, make sure that it's connected to the Binance Smart Chain. Uh, we're, that's about halfway there. Uh, then you just follow over to Remix, which is where the window I'm started right now, remix.ethereum.org. Uh, this is where we're going to be building our contract. So you can pause this video if you need time. Uh, right now, though, I'm going to go into contracts. Uh, under contracts, I'm going to create a new contract, which is with this new file, create new file icon on the top left. Uh, we're going to title this contract front run bot. Let's see, and we're going to copy the contract information that I put in the description. A uh, couple items to look at is the uh, lines 50 and 51. Uh, if you follow those addresses on that, that's the input address for the wrapped BNB token, uh, which I should have up here. Yeah, so this is that address. Uh, it's the token tracker for Rat BNB because that's what we're going to be working against, as well as also the Pancake router for uh, Pancake Swap version two, uh, which all that information is preloaded uh, through a function manager that routes back to a um, a Node.js file, uh, which was built with uh, VS Code. Um, so this can be run in injected Web three. Uh, which how we'll get there to deploying the contract as we go this was built with pragma solidity 6.6 which is the version of remix that this was compiled in so we go to version 6.6 uh, solidity and that's it let me go compile front run bot there we go it compiled uh, so we're going to deploy this to our wallet. Make sure oop, I have other deployed contracts out there. Let me clear that one out. I'll just. Okay, so we're going to do injected Web3. Uh, make sure that your wallet is connected to Remix. Uh, so how you can make sure that it's connected to Remix is this should show connected, which it's not. So let me connect. All right, so it says I am connected now. So the little light up here should turn green. Uh, that shows that you're connected. And now it should let us deploy this. There we go. So gas, that should be fine. I'm going to confirm that. So while it's thinking, you should, we should get a confirmation, transaction confirmation here, right there at the bottom. And now we have our uh, deployment utility right here, uh, which this little drop down will give you some information like action, token name, token symbol. Uh, right now, we're just going to copy that contract to make sure that it shows up in the BSC smart chain. BSC scan. I copied that, pasted it in BSC scan. We can see that there's an address there now. Uh, so the next step in this process is just funding your contract, uh, which is simple enough. Uh, let's go to your wallet. Uh, let's click on MetaMask. See, it took a little bit of gas. I just started with one BNB. Now we're down to um, basically took less than $2. Uh, so we're going to send some funds to that contract that we just created. Make sure I got the right address in there. Uh, for sake of this video, I will do 0.2 BNB. Might as well make it uh, 0.4, a little bit extra sometimes helps. So that way we can make sure that we 
make an impact on the liquidity once we interact with a a contract that just add liquidity within PancakeSwap. So let's give it a moment. There we go. So the transaction is confirmed. So it was sent to the contract. Uh, next thing that we do after it's sent to the contract is we will just go over here and press the action button. Um, the action button uh, then uh, engages all the constructors that I built in as far as engaging the pancake router. Uh, it automatically buys and sells for you. Uh, so how that works is it will transact uh, the liquidity as soon as it's added to a token. Uh, and then it gives it generally, uh, let me see. Yeah, I put it in here with this variable that it will just be one minute before the action sells. So you're basically just doing automated buy sells within one minute. So it will find the liquidity by uh, buy into that project so that way it will front run all the retail uh, investors that come in so you'll only be competing with other bots on the mempool and it will automatically sell within a minute and then uh, from there it will take 90% uh, will automatically trans back to your wallet the remaining 10% will stay within the front running protocol uh, and that 10% will automatically keep sniffing for liquidity uh, front run, transact the profit back to your wallet. I've had really good luck with this. Uh, the last few weeks I've made, you know, several hundred BNB, which I can show the transaction reports on BSE scan to corroborate that. Uh, but without further ado, uh, let's go click action and that will start the contract. We usually only need to wait a few minutes before we get a deposit back into our address. So let me click this. It's going to ask for another uh, signature uh, so we confirm a little bit extra gas fee. Uh, let's just wait so that way we can uh, have our contract look for liquidity within PancakeSwap. And once it finds it, it will automatically transact. Uh, generally, this gen just takes about a minute. There's new contracts with added liquidity pretty much every minute of the day because uh, everyone's coming out with their new little rug pull shit coin. But at least if we can get ahead of that, uh, we can make a little bit of profit as soon as they drop the liquidity. Um, Cause we're buying it on the same block of the liquidity. So there's anyone that's transacting directly through PancakeSwap, we're gonna be in front of them. All right, let me take a look. I can almost guarantee that I got something back by now. And there we go. Yeah, it's already around 15 X. Uh, so the longer we wait, uh, that will automatically uh, reinvest the 10% and it transfers back the 90%. So the actual profit was a little bit higher than that. There's still 10% in that front running pool that's still looking for liquidity. Um, can run the cycle multiple times a day. You know, you could have upwards of a thousand BNB day if you use a, a larger amount than I started with. Uh, well, good luck. Happy front running.